Hi everyone, welcome to a special edition of Beijing Minutes. We're calling it Beijing Minute Live. These are short broadcasts we want to introduce maybe once a week or more often, uh, depending on whether there's some breaking news we want to share with you guys. Uh, so yeah, of course, uh, my name is Brian McGovern, and here is Liu Yunyun, the editor for the World Section of Beijing Review. And here today, we're here to talk about uh, what's something, what's on your mind today? Well, I think the biggest news that comes out today is OPPO. Have you ever heard of it? No, uh, well, I've heard about it, but I'm not exactly sure what OPPO is. What is, what is OPPO? Well, it's a, uh, well, right now it is the number one smartphone seller in China. Really? It wow. shipped 20.1 million smartphones in China. So makes it the number one seller in the third quarter of China in terms of you know smartphone sales. And what, what about what about Apple or or Samsung? What happened to them? See, I don't know. It being dropped from the top to you know nowhere, oh. like Nokia. Have you heard, ever heard of Nokia? Like well, maybe when I was a teenager, I heard about Nokia. Yeah. See, that's I had one of those small Nokia phones that was almost indestructible. You could throw it on the floor and you're fine. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's a long. That's a long gone memory, right? Yeah. So um. So are you saying that Apple or Samsung will be a long gone memory someday, because of this news? See, with Oppo like taking about seventeen point five percent of the hmm. Chinese market share, and with the rise of other indigenous Chinese brand, I think maybe in the future. Hmm. That's quite a bold statement, I guess. Yeah. But actually, yeah. Maybe it has some right because Apple right now is fifth in terms of market share in China, right? And that's against news that Apple's new iPhone 7 and, and sales of Apple products have been dropping in China for the past couple of months. And also, of course, Samsung the explosive is news of Samsung. Yeah. Exploding. Yeah. So I have a Samsung phone too. I just hope it doesn't explode in my pocket now. But <laughs> how about you? What phone do you have? Well, I switched from a Samsung to Huawei and now to iPhone, but I recently bought two Oppo phones for my parents. Really? Yeah. And you know why Oppo is so well received in China? Mm -hmm. It appeals to a younger generation and also to an older generation. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is affordable, uh, its the price range is good, it is compatible because we have three major <laughs> telecommunications networks in China mm -hmm. and for Oppo you can install two SIM cards in one phone and that's something Apple had, has never done okay but we're not doing an advertisement for them or anything here but yeah anyways it sounds like uh, it's quite an interesting topic that uh, following Oppo is also Huawei and other phones like Xiaomi they're leading in terms of sales in China which is odd because we've always thought that you know Apple or Samsung would be the the best, not just in China but around the world as well. So uh, see, that's some that's misleading because Apple and Samsung they are big names in first tier cities or maybe hmm. second tier cities, but China has what well, half of the Chinese population are in rural areas, oh, yeah. and those people they you know they have. No, maybe not so much access to the internet. Uh -huh. And if, if you have an online sales campaign, and they mm. may not know about it. Also the money, right? Yes. So one of these phones, maybe from Opal, costs maybe a few hundred RMB, whereas an Apple phone, the newest one costs how much? Like a, 6,000. 6,000 RMB. RMB. So yeah, expensive, like $1,000. So it's uh, maybe out of the price range for some of them. Yeah, and in, if you want to do good in China now, for now, mm. I mean, China has a growing younger generation and mm. a growing older generation. Mm. So the price range, you have to be affordable and you have to be compatible and you have to be available, not just online, but also offline, mm -hmm. right? So what are some of the challenges you see uh, for this uh, smartphone market, not just for Oppo, but other companies like Apple or Samsung in China in the future, what do you think? Well, that's hard what do you think <laughs> I think that one of the things is that uh, we're reaching kind of a, a point where there will be market saturation I know they'll have more and more people in rural areas of China having you know, those yeah. phones so there'll be a point where market has matured and you know you're just, you're just gonna buy phone after phone you know it's gonna have to be a choice between one brand or the other and having one at phone at a time not three or four right and that's happening already in the West it's not happening in China just yet, but it can happen in the near future. So I think that regardless of whether Oppo is leading the market share now or whatever, it's going to be in terms of how to continue growing that 
and how to give more benefits to users in China. Now, another thing is that the companies like Oppo, they want to expand not just in China, but also abroad to the West. From what I know, Oppo tried to go to Mexico, but it failed there due to lack of brand awareness and other issues. So maybe just because it succeeds in China doesn't mean it will succeed in the US or other markets. So yeah, think? I agree because um, sometimes a domestic Chinese firm would be pretty satisfied because mm. China has a huge market. Mm. And they would, well, if I can do good in China and then that's good for me. Mm. So I don't have to expand to all those overseas markets with all those political uncertainties. Mm -hmm. So they may, you know, if they don't have this uh, uh, competition from abroad, mm -hmm. and then gradually they will lose their momentum. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, I just hope that uh, my future phones don't explode in my pocket, regardless of Samsung or anything. Yeah. Well, I think uh, that's it that for today. That for today. Yeah. Uh, so this is an ongoing series we'll be having uh, for the um, in the future as well. Uh, we would like maybe if you have any questions uh, in the future you can ask us live and we'll answer your questions as they come. Uh, but for now, as long as you keep reading, uh, watching us and uh, uh, spreading it with your friends, that would be great. Thanks.